Mario here and welcome to another episode of Super Mario Fun Time. This week I have three indie games and they're all kind of magical and mystical and wizardly like. They kind of have a theme. How cute is that? So let's go on and play. First one we're gonna play is called Wizard Monkeys. I'm already liking this. We've got three little monkeys with little hats. Oh, I like it. I look like a bad monkey. Bad monkey. Oh, what? Wait, that's my weapon? What is this? It's like chalk dust. Fear my chalk dust. If you're standing on a palm, you can press Y. Ah, I can't read while fighting off cute little chicks. Wow, I am wondering if I'm the bad guy or the good guy because whatever I'm fighting is way cuter than I am. Whoa, that looks like a badass monkey. Actually, it looks exactly like me, just angrier. Ah, oh cool. This hat is level zero. I got a level zero hat, cool. Okay, all right. Ah! These guys have Pekka magic. Oh, that's my magic. Missing. I don't have any more magic. What is happening? Oh, sh am I about to die? I'm about to die! God, freaking, freaking! Now I have a cooler hat. Do I have any magic? That's my magic right there. I'm basically like watering. I don't want to kill the cute little chickens. I do want to kill this bat with the torpedoes though. Go, magic, go! What? That's my level six magical power? I just float? That is lame. Go, 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 do, 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 magical, magicals. This magical power sucks. Huh? They're like little dust bunnies. They look like the dust bunnies from Totoro. Tonari no Totoro, Totoro. You guys know. You know what Totoro is. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the point of those chicks are when they just spontaneously combust by themselves. In hindsight, all enemies should be like that. They should all just spontaneously combust so that you don't have to attack them. That is the lazy man's game. That is my kind of game. Okay, this is, this is the not so nice pots. Oh, I have magic! I have magic! Oh! Kill those mofos. Kill all those mofos. No more magic. Oh, sh Ah, sh So that was Wizard Monkeys. You know, with these indie games, they're hit or miss. Wizard Monkeys was actually kind of fun. If you could pick up, like, more powers or magic or whatever, I think it would drive the game a little bit more. I think you can also play co-op, which would probably be funner if you could play it in a local game. So I'll give it two bad monkeys out of five. The next game that we're gonna play is called Death Goat. I don't know what it is with goats lately, from like goat song remixes to goats screaming like humans, but there is a goat popularity contest going on on the internet right now. So anyway, this is Death Goat. Ready to die, mother Actually, I'm not really ready to die. I mean, in a game, <laughs> I'm ready, I guess. Whoa, okay. All right, okay, it's one of these games. Basically, run, spin, and kill sh is the ah, format of the game. Oh my god, it's a big spider skeleton diggers. If you don't like creepy crawly bugs, and I'm one of those people who don't really like creepy crawly bugs, like, if I see one, I will kill the sh out of it. Then this will freak you out. There's weird skeleton hybrid spider thingies coming at you, and what? Fine, we'll buy it, take my money. Okay, ooh, I'm gonna pick this shit up. Oh, what? Don't tase me, bro! Oh my god. Ah, oh, oh my god! I'm kind of freaking loving this game right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, die, motherfuckers! Ah, big boobs! Big boobs on a baby! Oh, where, all the, where did all these motherfuckers Oh, Cookie Monster! Clear the way! Ah, ah, it's a corpse! It's a corpse! It's not gonna hit me! It's not gonna hit me! <laughs> oh, that baby with the tits is freaking me out, man! Baby with the tits! Oh, baby with the tits killed me! Oh yes! Oh, I used up too, you idiot! Trigger happy stupid Mari! Oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, purple gun! Purple gun that. You're a freaking loser. 
So that was Death Goat. I freaking loved it. Whether it was the gameplay, which is actually rather simple and seen a lot on the indie games, but whether it's that, or it was the kick-ass music, or it was the fact that it had something to do with goats, I don't know what it was, but I freaking had an awesome time playing it. I'm gonna give it five Death Goats out of five. The last game that I'm gonna play today is an indie game called The Path of King Arthur. I think of King Arthur and like mystical and magic and stuff because of Merlin, really. So let's see what this game is like. Um, I'm not gonna read this because this artwork looks like a two-year-old drew it. So this is the gameplay. I have these buttons over here that I can switch off and then it kind of like, depending on where I put the A button, it makes the cats or whatever these enemies are go in different directions. And then I have these little like poo logs, they look like poo, as my weapons. I don't know what these characters are. Ah! Oh, snap. Okay, this is good. This is good. I'm just gonna trap them. Ah! I'm gonna trap them. Oh, I'm gonna trap them where that thing is because it keeps killing them. Okay, what is this? Oh, little doggy. Dogs will be loyal to you no matter how poorly you treat them. That's so sad. Uh, yeah. Cue Sarah McLaughlin music. Okay, so here's the gameplay. So the reason why you get like dogs and cats is so that you can make up your team. So let's get some cats and dogs. Cat, cats, and dogs. I said some cats and dogs. Cat, cats, and dogs. Oh shoot, oh we're fighting? Are we fighting? We're fighting. We're, we're fighting you guys. Uh, I have 15 that are alive, 16 that are alive, 17 that are alive, and zero coming. I, wait, I did not notice that before. I don't know what it means when it says that I have zero coming. Um, oh man, I'm getting my ass kicked. You stupid dog, stop getting killed, dude. Seriously. So, this is now the strategy. I have to just kind of outwit them. No! No! Ah, you're inside! Oh, yes, bitch! Yes, behold! So that was the Path of King Arthur. It's kind of like a tower defense type of game. I actually really like playing these kinds of games. There's strategy involved, and it may not be fun to watch, but it's definitely fun to play. I'm gonna give it three King Arthurs out of five. That's it for this week, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed those indie games. I certainly did, especially friggin' Death Goat. I'm still thinking about it. Tweet me, tweet Smosh Games. Let me know in your comments below what you thought as well. Until next Monday for an all new episode, I hope you guys have an awesome week. Mother Raishune!